is Ralph Irvin High above Big League Dreams in Cathedral City, California, where this past weekend the UCLA Bruins wrapped up the Mary Nutter Collegiate Classic with a 5-0 record. It got started on Friday when the Bruins faced off against the reigning NCAA champions, Oklahoma. UCLA twice overcame one-run deficits before claiming the win in the bottom of the seventh when freshman Delaney Spaulding sent this ball deep to right center field, scoring Tara Mueller to earn the 3-2 win. Ali Carta earned her first win of the weekend, going seven innings and striking out ten. It's huge for us, um, a lot for our confidence, but I also think um, it was just cool coming back. We, we were fighting the whole game. They punched and we punched back, um, and then once they punched again, we, we, didn't, we didn't stop. We had our one shot till the last inning, so it was, it was fun to see everyone perform. Saturday, the Bruins faced off with number 16 Missouri in the afternoon. After falling down a run in the first, UCLA scored a pair in the second, but would trail 3-2 headed into the bottom of the seventh. With two down, a pair of walks set up Misha Sadaraka for this game-winning double, which gave the Bruins the 4-3 win. Carter got the win in relief, going three innings and striking out five. UCLA then took on Maryland and took an early 2-0 lead. The Terrapins would counter and take a 4-2 lead before UCLA rallied, making it 3-4 in the third and then tying the game and reclaiming the lead in the fourth. Sadaraka closed the door on the win with this sixth inning home run and UCLA had a 10-4 win. Carta again got the decision, striking out five in five innings. Jessica Hall struck out three in relief. Sunday, UCLA faced their highest ranked test of the weekend in number 11, Nebraska. The Bruins took control early, scoring once in the first, three runs in the fourth, and two more in the fifth, en route to a 6-2 decision. Carta went the distance, striking out seven, to get her fourth win of the weekend and ninth of the season. The weekend concluded with UCLA taking on New Mexico. The Bruins scored six in the first, one in the second, and six in the third, as they cruised to a 13-0 win over the Lobos. Hall pitched all five innings, gave up just three hits, and struck out three to earn her fifth win of the year. For the weekend, Spalding had a great debut in the desert as the freshman played stellar defense, drove in three runs, including the game winner against Oklahoma, and scored eight times. Going 5-0 uh, and in this big tournament for us is huge for us. Uh, it gives us great momentum going into the season and going into bigger games that we have ahead of us. Sadaraka had a huge weekend, hitting 7 of 14, driving in nine runs, and scoring five while being a rock at third base. Uh, it honestly felt great. I mean, it was all around the team. Everyone stepped up when they needed to. We clutched up, and uh, it worked out in our favor, and we're just going to keep rolling with it just until the next week. Carta hit 6 of 14, scoring five times and driving in four runs, but was even bigger in the circle, striking out 27 in 21 innings of work while earning her four wins. Yeah, I think we had a great weekend. Um, I think it, it said a lot about our team. We can punch early and keep punching the whole game, and if they punch back, um, like happened, we had some close games, and uh, we came back at the end in the last, came down to the last pitch. So I think it just says a lot that we can, we can do a lot, and um, I'm excited to see where the team goes this year. Now 16-0 after an undefeated weekend, head coach Kelly Inouye Perez has a lot to be happy about. I'm really proud of this team. You know, we came out on a mission to be able to prove to ourselves what we were capable of doing and we're really trying to figure out uh, just how far this team's going to be able to go in 2014. Um, we walk away with great confidence. We can come from behind, we can jump ahead, um, you know, we've got great versatility in the lineup and, and bottom line, this team's committed to do whatever it takes for this program and that, that ultimately is what allows you to be successful in the end. Once again, the UCLA Bruins wrap up the weekend with a 5-0 record. The Bruins are back in action this weekend. It's tournament action down in Long Beach. And of course, the best news and notes on UCLA softball, you get it all right here at UCLABruins.com.